in my last video, I demonstrated how you can calculate collated and uncollated numbering lists. If you're just joining in, collated is a block of numbers like this, goes from 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5, and uncollated is the repeating of the same set of numbers like this. Now today, I'm going to show you a practical ways how you can apply collated and uncollated lists. Now we got a table here, we want to convert that into a conventional table like this. The way to do it, the first thing I'll do is to convert this particular table into a two column like that and it'll give me a series of column in hours. Now let's work with the days. We're going to start off with sequence and I know there's a total of 35 uh, data here. 7 times 5 is 35. I could basically hard code it. It will give me a running number from 1 to 35. But if you want to make it more dynamic, you can call this rows and basically say this to increase dynamically because it's an array and you will produce the same result but your table is more dynamic. We want to start with number 0 instead of 1. So what we have to do is we can say that sequence one column starting with 0. And then it will give you a number starting from 0 all the way to 34. Now to convert this into collated list, what you have to do is to embed this sequence with mod and basically divide that by 7 so that it can give you 0 to 6. 0 to 6 is a sequence of 7 numbers. Now if you want to start this by 1, just plus 1 like we demonstrated in my previous video and then you will start from 1 to 7 1 to 7 which is our index for the day of the month so we'll do an index function here the first argument would be the day of the week comma the output from the mod close parenthesis and hit enter and you'll run Monday to Sunday Monday to Sunday now to work with name we're going to use the same sequence function which is going to give us 1 to 35 numbers like before. What we want in our name is to appear Claire for the first 7 days and Haley for the next 7 days. This is an uncollated list. To do that, you're going to start off by dividing to 7, but this will produce a decimal numbers. So that's why it looks a bit weird. So to get a correct index itself, all you have to do is to encapsulate the sequence with a round up function with 0 decimal place and it'll give you a repetition of 111 Two, two, two every seven days. This is going to be our index for the name. So we're going to encapsulate our roundup function with index function. And the first argument will be the list of names, comma, and the output for the roundup. Close parenthesis and hit enter. And there you go. This is one of the examples when you can use collated and uncollated listing. Just one disclaimer, this can also be done using Power Query. But I'm going with the notion that not everybody knows Power Query. Before I go, here's a quick pop quiz. If I were to delete either rows or columns, our table get messed up. How would you fix this? Share your answers and suggestions in the comments below.